One great thing about China is that you can pretty much go off in any direction and find something interesting. I decided to ride my little blue bicycle today off in a random direction, uh, an area I've never been to before, just to see what I could find. And it is freaking cold out here. Um, even with gloves on, my fingers are just frozen solid, like ice cubes at the ends of my hands. So I decided to park the bike and take a little break and stop here at the Dream Center, which is another big modern shopping mall in my neighborhood. It's about uh, three or four subway stops from home. But like I said, I rode my bike today. Well, the public bike, Gong Gong Zushing Tzu. And uh, yeah, it's funny, they've got the Christmas decorations still up. I guess they're just gonna throw a bunch of Chinese New Year decorations on there and turn it into a Chinese New Year display. But uh, yeah, I've never been here before, never been to this neighborhood. So while I warm up my fingers, I'm gonna go and take a look in the Dream Center and see what they've got to offer. As always, China is, as I say all the time, China is becoming a coffee culture. So we've got the Wagus coffee shop here where you can get sandwiches, salads, pasta, coffee, and cakes. Very unlike China in the past, but I don't mind seeing it. It's nice to know that I can go out and get some of the comforts of home. And here we go, we're in the Dream Center. We've got Huawei on the left-hand side selling cars, phones, tablets, computers, everything you might possibly need. And then Urban Revivio, Revio, Urban Revivio. Not familiar, but it looks fancy. And here we go, we've got, like I said, they've taken pretty much the Christmas decorations and put up some uh, Chinese New Year decorations on top of it. Though, truth be told, they likely leave this up all year long. It doesn't look nice. And it doesn't look that big from the outside, but take a look at this, people. There are a good four floors straight of shops. And I bet you there's some restaurants up on the fifth floor, so let's take a look around. Oppo, another famous uh, Apple uh, competitor. I, I do have an Oppo phone, but I got the very basic one just for day-to-day -day use. I really wish I'd gotten this one here with the Hasselblad camera. Maybe if I don't get a Huawei phone next after the iPhone dies, I'll get one of those. We've got Samsung over there. Got the parking area over there, another entrance. Very beautiful, very lovely. And again, this is just your neighborhood mall. This is not in the downtown area. This is not in one of the tourist or culture center areas. This is just your average neighborhood. Poor cotton, which are like, okay, look, there's a, a fifth floor for sure. There's the four floors above me. And then there's a fifth floor below with much more to see and do. And then parking below that. So this is actually a pretty, large shopping center truth be told everywhere in china now they're starting to put up the uh decorations for chinese new year it is right around the corner uh, a couple weeks away should be very cool again i bet you not a lot of foreigners get out this way i'm getting a lot of attention from people looking at me going whoa <laughs> who the hell's that guy and why is he here you know because uh unless they actually live in the hood Probably don't get a lot of foreigners popping by. Toy store for the kitties. And then yeah, let's I'm just gonna go check it out. Okay, now this is this is cool. Wow, they've got little live eels. They're selling little fish here, crabs. Very, very cool. Look at those little eels, that's so cool. Coloring books for the kids, jewelries, toys nifty little gadgets, little arts and crafts, stick on fingernails, I don't need any of those, little wire handicrafts, 
The little dude's impressed. Very cool. Very cool. Nice. Snazu. Let's see what's outside here. I'm just curious because it looks like we've got a courtyard here. And I'm not sure now. Oh, okay. So I see. So what this is, is this is leading to the business tower. And we've got Starbucks here. We've got Taco Bell. I've got a, an associate in Hong Kong who's desperate to try bad American Mexican food. And Taco Bell is the place to have it got a little K coffee which is the KFC coffee shop uh, though this is just the little outdoor booth shitty day to be sitting in there freezing your bells off so then we can go to the downtown downstairs area over here and we've got more restaurants beautiful looking piece of uh, sculpture over there really nifty Starbucks, 7-Eleven, Taco Bell, like I said, just ultra cool. And this is just all sitting outside of the shopping center. And then it leads to the uh, business tower above. So yeah, just amazing. Um, Canadian populations in outlying areas just simply don't have the population to warrant these types of shopping centers. Um, they just can't build things like this. Look at that, We've got huge business towers up above, restaurants, but as I said, I'm freaking chilly. So I am going to go back into the shopping center and who knows, if I find something interesting in there, I'll share it with you guys. How freaking cool is this? These are the places in your neighborhood. Wow, this place is substantially bigger than I even thought. Not only is there the indoor area that's five stories, but as you can see, there's this outdoor courtyard with restaurants and shops in it as well, which also goes up at least three or four stories as well. So I'm going to go up here and take a look. Over to the left is one of my favorite uh, Vietnamese restaurants in China. I've eaten there quite a few times, made videos about it. It's quite delicious. But yeah, not what I was expecting. Unbelievable. It's just huge. Let me show you what's going on. So I've just come up to the third floor. Outdoors. This is not the indoor area. And we've got restaurants going all the way down the road here. So all sorts of different places you could go and eat. Wow. Just amazing. Fast food, fancy food. Look at that fish. That looks freaking awesome. Your wife would be in heaven. Little hot, hot chicken restaurant over there. Neo Sha Zhao. Neo Shao Zhao. Beef restaurant, beef noodles. Swan Tsai and fish, which is. Pickles, pickled fish, pickled vegetables and fish, technically swan size, pickled vegetables. Love it, delicious. And there's more. There's more. This place is huge. Again, the business towers up above. And as you can see, got that nifty sculpture over there. This place is massive. I'm going to go up one more floor and just see what else we can find. Huge digital billboards. That curves all the way around the side of the building there. It's about twice as big as what we're seeing there. And then up here, we've got another big restaurant. 
Ah, with Xinjiang music. So this will be a Xinjiang restaurant. Very cool. Looks very nice. I should bring the wife here sometime. But what an amazing setup. Nakusai. Don't know what it is, but I'm guessing Japanese. Yeah, what a fantastic shopping center. Not at all what I expected to find in this neighborhood. And here we go. Got the little toy shop where you can win all sorts of little prizes by grabbing them with the claw machine. I honestly was expecting a small shopping center, just a local place, but this is off the hook. It is middle of the afternoon, so there's not as many people here as there will be tonight. Look at how big this place is. A seafood restaurant where you actually get to pick the food you're going to eat, and I assume that they then cook it for you. Well, there we go. My exploring for the day is done. <laughs> Look at that. An old black and white TV in a boom box. You don't see that every day. So here we go. This is the Dream City Shopping Center. And there is a bunch of it. It's a very unique design, indoor and outdoor. And I look forward to coming back here and exploring more. But now I'm going to go hop on my bicycle and freeze my fingies off on the way home. <laughs>